I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week nine in the NFL, and right now we are talking with returning guest Jeff Cadillac from jeffcadillac.com. Jeff Cadillac is uh, one of our most popular handicappers, one of my favorite handicappers uh, that we have on here, but there's a lot of people who consider him to be, uh, you know, an auto fade, and his record in our videos this year has given them a lot of ammunition. Right now we're going to discuss Atlanta, Carolina. Jeff Cadillac, thanks for being back with us. Thank you for having me, Peter. All right, Jeff Cadillac, your record is 4-11-1 against the spread in our videos. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, what I do is I give a compelling analysis for all the mm -hmm. games. Uh, I try to pick them as best as I can. Uh, there are certain games, you know, I, I look at the, at the numbers and I say, hey, this team's, you know, got a great shot at covering the spread. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting a lot of good feedback on my website. I'm getting okay. a lot of good feedback on Twitter. I got uh, Twitter at uh, Jeff Cadillac one. I get a lot, a lot of positive emails from people around the world. Oh. Um, I just got to keep on going and doing. Yes. And, uh, you know, some weeks are good. Some weeks are bad. That's just the way it is. Awesome. Um, I give, you know, I try to do as best analysis as possible. And I try to go through the numbers and I'm getting over a lot of hits on my website. OK, So a lot of people are reading what I have to say. Sounds great. Jeff Cadillac from jeffcadillac.com. Positive mental attitude, doing his best. That's what we like to hear. All right, let's see if you can give us a winner here. Atlanta, Carolina. Now, um, you're actually going to get a little bit of a, of a lucky break on this one because uh, uh, looking at sbrodds.com, there's a lot of discrepancy uh, on the widely available numbers here. So you can get Carolina minus seven or seven and a half right now. So if you take Atlanta, you get plus seven and a half, Carolina minus seven. Same thing with the total, 43 and a half or 44 are both widely available numbers right now. And, you know, Look, we know the deal. Carolina, very impressive. Cam Newton, you know, having generally a pretty good year, an awesome front seven defensively from Carolina. And Atlanta, you know, having a lot of issues. They In their last game, they didn't look like they uh, had solved any of them. So uh, I guess, you know, Carolina is a team with the big edge here, all the momentum. The question is, is seven points a little bit too much? I'm not exactly sure. What do you like here? Jeff Cadillac from jeffcadillac.com. Well, I happen to like Carolina here laying seven and a half. If you could get the seven, I would take yes. that too. Yes. Uh, Atlanta last week, they looked horrible against Arizona. They gave up over 200 yards rushing. Matty Ice is turning into, uh, I don't know, Matty B uh, Cheesecake. He, he threw for four interceptions. The team looked very listless. Carolina, on the other hand, they destroyed Tampa Bay on Thursday night. And this is the first time since 2008 Carolina is above 500. I think Cam is finally realizing this is a make-or-break year for him. And that the defense has definitely stepped up. Yes. Because they're right now the defense for Carolina is number three in the league. They're uh, two against the rush and ninth against the pass. And Atlanta last week, 27 yards rushing. I mean, they basically gave the game to Arizona. If, if anybody out there watched the game last week, Arizona versus Atlanta, you would think this is like a, a pop one team playing Arizona. Arizona looked like they should be going to the Super Bowl playing against Atlanta last week. And Carolina's been playing well. Granted, their schedule is not the strongest, but they have been playing their opponents very tough. I like the way Cam has been playing. He's got that you know option uh, to run or pass, and, and he's playing smart. He's not turning the ball over. Um, last time Carolina... Uh, was a favorite against Atlanta this big was in 2008. They were favored by seven, and they won the game 24-9. That was uh, Matty Ice's first year in the league, 2008. So, uh, you know, I happen to like uh, Carolina here, minus seven and a half. I think what Carolina needs to do is put a lot of pressure on Matt Ryan. Uh, that, that offensive line hasn't, uh, you know, uh, sealed up the holes that they've had. Uh, previously, they still have problems. They have people out on injury. And Steven Jackson coming back to Atlanta, he, you know, he didn't look too great this last week. I, I, I don't know what's going on over there in Atlanta. I think uh, maybe they're looking uh, too far ahead as in uh, next year. All right, yep, a lot of injuries on the side uh, of Atlanta. And, yes, if you launch chop around, you can easily find a Carolina minus 7. It is minus 115, uh, minus, minus 120 right now when you do find it. But we're going to give you a little bit of help. You're going to get a winner this week. Jeff Cadillac liking Carolina to cover minus 7. Thanks so much, Jeff. Talk to you again next week.